Yeah. So we set up it as an 800 number, and then that, and that's what I'd come up with. Let's do that. We'll get mm -hmm. messages from the different characters. The messages were from the characters, not from the actors, although we had the actors do their characters. Sure, sure. And, you know, and you would get a thing saying something intriguing about Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, sure. And so, you know, I ran this by George and he thought it was cool. Yeah. And so I wrote uh, messages for five of the characters, mm -hmm. um, C-3PO, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, um, Han, Solo. Han Solo, and Darth Vader. Mm -hmm. And they, you know, and you would call up and you would get the right message. And we got the phone number we chose was oh, it started with 800, of course, because yeah. it was an 800 number. It was, the date, got, it? it was the release date. It was the release date, yeah. 521 1980, May 21st, 1980. Mm -hmm. And I wrote these messages. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, being somewhat frugal, whenever any of the actors came in to record their looping, their ADR for Empire, we'd give them the script and they'd uh, record their message. Sure, on the, on the dialogue stage, the ADR, most of which were done at Goldwyn, I believe. Yeah, I think so. The lot uh, today <laughs> is what it's called. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, the This worked fine for everyone but Harrison because he had come in early in earlier than we had this all prepared and he'd already looped his his lines. So I got him to agree to do it at his house. Mm -hmm. um, and Jim Tannenbaum, who was a pretty well-known sound recordist. He is an esteemed sound, uh, production sound mixer, done dozens of films, worked with Brian De Palma quite a bit, did yeah. Blowout and a bunch of other uh, notable films. He's a really good guy. Yeah. But he's a good friend of mine and he agreed to come up and record this, you know, 60 second bit, you know, it, it was a gig well below his pay grade yeah but you know he was a friend of mine and it was star wars yeah and you get so, to travel a little and hang out with harrison ford i mean you know yeah so you know he was <laughs> he thought it was great and so we were able to do it we went up to harrison's house and recorded his bit mm -hmm. um and then we set them all up mm -hmm. then and i think this was all in december yeah, I was just, um, to interrupt the story a little bit, you have graciously let us, uh, entrusted us with the original recordings of uh, <laughs> The Empire Strikes Back. But uh, looking at the actual log sheets, yeah, the Goldwyn, Goldwyn Studios, um, it looks like between the 4th of December, 1979, and uh, the 7th of December. Uh, so that's when the, the most of the recording was done, yeah, so. Very, very, yeah, and very in, I think February we started the phone line. Mm -hmm. Well, I ran into Ben Kenobi and Luke Skywalker. I had myself a pretty good little operation. They wanted to ride to Alderaan and they're willing to pay enough so I didn't have to ask any questions. Now I'm in the middle of a rebellion. I'm spending half my time dodging Imperial ships and the other half avoiding her holiness. Not only that. But Jabba the Hutt's got a price on my head and he's put Boba Fett on my trail. Something tells me it's not going to get any better when the Empire strikes back. Darth Vader and the evil forces of the Emperor keep a stranglehold over the galaxy. But the Rebel Alliance must and will succeed in forever ridding the galaxy of their scourge. Even now, in our secret underground base on the ice planet Hoth, new strategies are being planned. See for yourself in The Empire Strikes Back. The Empire Strikes Back comes to a theater near you on May the 21st, 1980. Call next month for a new message. Steve one laughed point. at one point in there because he knows that there's this sort of pause in Carrie Stress's scourge because she had a 
hell of a time with that word in the recording, which once, once we get through playing the other two, we'll we'll play um, some outtakes from from that uh, from that side. Well, we'll play the whole session basically as it was. I think this is actually all the way through, but right. you know, she's but she's so fun and playful and you know not not too serious about her critical comments. But. But the Rebel Alliance must and will succeed in forever ridding the galaxy of their scourge. What the hell is scourge. that? Why do you give me this ancient dialogue to say? Ancient? Scourge? Do we all say scourge? And I didn't, I missed it? Okay, never mind. Pick it up in the middle if you'd like. Take three. All right. But the Rebel Alliance must and will succeed in forever ridding the galaxy of their scourge. Even now, in our secret underground base on the ice planet Hoth, new strategies are being planned. See for yourself in The Empire Strikes Back, coming to a theater near you, May 21st, 1980. Let's do that part again. Tales oh, but it's so <laughs> rank, Char. What am I? I'm a... Oh, God. <laughs> 